portion of this video has been sponsored by LastPass. All right, we'll see how fast I can swing it. It's actually improved significantly. For the record, do not try this at home. Hey guys, in our last episode of Make It Real, we made the Thanos Sword, but we didn't test it, so now we will. We're going to pit it against all the usual items we usually test projects against, but the grand finale, we're going to recreate the end scene from Endgame and test the sword against Captain America's shield. Which project will prevail? But before we get to that, this part of the video has been sponsored by LastPass. How many times have you been locked out of one of your accounts because you forgot a password? It used to happen to me a ton before I started using LastPass to fill in my usernames and passwords automatically. You no longer have to write down, remember, or even reset your passwords, because LastPass keeps track of your info and puts your passwords on autopilot. It autofills credentials on mobile sites and apps too for both iOS and Android. When you open an app or a website, LastPass will fill in the details making it fast and easy to log in. It's completely secure too as your data is protected at every step, and it gives you the power to make your new passwords impenetrable. There's also a share feature in case you need to give someone else temporary access to one of your accounts. And of course, it comes with unlimited password storage and free cross device sync, so you can use it across your laptop, phone, and even tablet all at once. Click the link below to learn more about LastPass. Thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, let's test the Thanos sword. All right, so Riley did a fantastic job on the Thanos blade, which means you get to test it out. Awesome. Let's get smashing. Sweet. Oh God, it's so heavy. All right, we'll see how fast I can swing it. <laughs> it's so hard to stop swinging. Another! More things! Should I try to do the spin move? Yeah. Spin move! Go! The fire did not move. I overcompensate. Fire move. It just works. Oh man, I don't like this. Yeah, maybe we should have screwed it down. James, why didn't you screw it down? Did none of us anticipate that? The monitor's become a laptop. <laughs> Pretty durable. I don't know about that yeah. one though. <laughs> <laughs> really just like a random battery panel. Bounced I up. disengaged the clip somehow. All right. Yeah, Good chopping time. Show. It's time to go ham, but my back is gonna hate me. Better now than Thanos got Holy shit. Sword's better now. It's actually improved significantly. Dude, it like sheared off. How the f How do you use shear? Like, that was pretty thick wall steel. It rusted on the inside? I am so wildly confused now. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, the how, how is, what the hell? All right, let's get back to it. That monitor's still alive. You want this monitor dead? I can make this monitor dead. Oh, it is so much better now. Why didn't we just make this? <laughs> Need a screw. All right, now it's my turn. Now that it's easy to wield.
No, actually. I felt good. Hitting hitting the metal was did more damage. Than the... So really, based on that, Thanos' sword should be more like Darth Maul's lightsaber, where you could break it off into two and then have two massive swords. That'd be that'd be sweet. Uh, all right, let's try that again. Let's do a clean cut all the way through this concrete block. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, ready? For the record, do not try this at home. Tube TVs have flyback transformers. This is a terrible idea. Ultra Brad. Hold it. Run that back. Wait a minute. Go right. There. Freeze that. Zoom in right here on this spot. Full screen. Now this is an interesting break because it didn't break where we welded it. It actually broke midway up the pipe. And you can see the seam there where the two pipe sections were welded together. And this is what you see with the, the rust spot and the weld. We had no idea this was, this was even there because it looks like a normal pipe on the outside. So we're gonna fix this and then get back to the destruction. Let's fix it! It's done. Let's go break more stuff. All right, now that the sword is fixed, it's time for the ultimate test. Ian, you ready? All right, so obviously it's gonna be a bit too dangerous to actually hold the shield when I hit it with a Thanos sword. So we've actually made it, Ian, what are you doing? The, 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 whole, the whole reason that we got the two by fours is so you don't have to hold the shield. Okay, ready? Get the smash cap shield. I just, I just love the double side blade coming back at you every time you swing. It's kind of like when you're pointing your finger at someone. It's just like one finger that way, four back at you. How long were those screws you used? Well, let's get some longer screws. All right, we've reinforced the structure, so hopefully now when I hit the shield, the shield breaks instead of the structure. It should shatter. The other one broke so easily. <laughs> this is looking like better quality metal. Ready? Yeah! Yeah! Get some! Ah! All right, so this thing's freaking sweet. The issue is, it's really not wieldable. Um, we either need someone much bigger than me or maybe some kind of machine to truly test its capabilities. We're gonna do just that. We are going to build something to spin this at a high speed and then we're gonna chuck stuff at it. Think of it as a giant Thanos copter. Like this, but much faster. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Like that, but, but better. Right, so we just cut out 
SVP piece, which is going to hold the handle of the blade, and that's going to be uh, attached to the uh, large sized gear. And then we have this piece, which is going to hold the bearing for the motor. Let's go. All right, so we just got the holes plasma cut for the motor mount as well as the bearings that are gonna hold the large gears. Now we're gonna get it cleaned up and let's mount everything. Shiny. Let's put it together. That will have a set screw to be able to actually fix this off. We got a So, in order to track how fast the Thanos copter is going, we're actually going to put together a small circuit that is going to count how many times the magnets on the motor pass around and then do some simple math, and we should be able to get telemetry on the remote of the exact RPM of the sort. Let's put it together. To check out the complete circuit diagram, visit our page on maker.io. Welcome to OpenTX. So, in order to sense the RPM, we're actually using a Hall effect sensor to count how many magnet poles pass by it, and that can be demonstrated with this drill right here. You can see on the oscilloscope, every time the magnet passes by, it counts the pulse. And by knowing how many magnets are in the motor, we can actually divide that and calculate how fast the motor is going. So we're actually gonna mount this Hall effect right beside the motor, and that'll allow us to actually measure the magnets inside the motor and calculate how fast it's going. Some simple math for the gearing ratio, it will know exactly how fast the sword is spinning, and can even do calculations to be able to determine just how much energy it has. So the motor that we're actually using for this is a 16,000 watt motor, which means unfortunately, we can't power it off the wall outlet as it would take about 10 circuit breakers just to get that to run. So we're actually powering it off of our forklift with this giant connector, which will be able to provide us with 48 volts and over a thousand amps constant. More than enough to run this motor. Let's try spinning it up. Everybody get out of the shop! Testing will be commencing in one minute! Throw it on. Does anybody have like a water belt up or something? Make sure you subscribe. You're not gonna want to miss this. All right, make sure you guys are subscribed. In the next video, we're gonna be testing the Thanos Copter, and it's gonna be awesome. Like the video, turn on notifications, you know the drill. First, I've got another idea I wanna give a shot. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh God! <laughs>